power and value chain in digitized creative industries. Creative Industries and Digitization Creative industries are defined as industries revolving around the trade of artistic and cultural products created by an artist or a group of artists is central to the industry with industries like cinema, visual arts, crafts, design, museums, architecture, and books. More specifically, the trade revolves around the usage and exchange of intellectual property. Listening to stream music on Spotify involves an industry-wide process, from the musician creating the music and signing a publishing contract with a major, and with the distributor for streaming rights. The same goes for buying and displaying a painting in one's home the buyer must comply with author's moral rights and copyright licensing. Licensing and copywriting, proofs of ownership, are the linchpin of creative industries. These industries have faced numerous evolutions, among which digitization and online distribution, which is the first starting in the 80s, the second in the late 90s. Digitized art refers to art pieces created, stored, used, and delivered digitally. This definition encompasses every piece of art that can be put in a digital format, image, sound, video games, video, etc. The definition also entails that a physical art piece, such as a painting, can be digitized and stored in digital form separate from the first one. The digitized version is considered a different version of the physical asset with its own properties. Digitization refers to the process of converting an analogical or physical source into a digital asset. Digitization of media files predicates the Internet. The first commercial compact disc was issued in 1982, but the second movement consists of online distribution through Internet. Tim Berns-Lee posted the first picture on the Internet back in July of 1992, which set in motion the new possibilities offered by the World Wide Web. Online distribution was popularized by increasing bandwidth and storage capacities, along with standardized compressed format for data like MP3 audio format. This twofold process, digital storage and online distribution, brought forward a set of complications for creative industries along with new possibilities. The music industry was one of the first industries to suffer greatly from this new trend, for it enabled a new type of exchange between users called peer-to-peer. -peer. Contrary to physical CD, it is possible to copy an audio file and give it to someone else without losing the initial file. Digitization could have been a smaller inconvenience for the music industry since it would have required users to physically give each other a USB drive with audio files on it. But online transfer through the internet allowed users to send music to virtually anyone with no possibility of stopping it. With companies like Napster popularizing illegal downloading of audio files, the music industry lost revenue at an alarming rate, dropping from $14.6 billion in 1999 to $6.3 billion in 2009. New business models emerged in 2010 from the industry crisis such as audio streaming, with companies like Spotify or Deezer offering their user the unlimited access to a wide catalog of music they can listen to through the internet. 
Streaming is responsible for a significant increase in revenue. In 2017, the industry is estimated to have reached a retail value of nearly $9 billion. Creative industries are still undergoing market evolutions due to digitalization, some earlier than others, or with greater or lesser impact. The cinema industry has grown unabated despite illegal downloading because of the importance of physical screening, but streaming allowed Netflix to become a stronger contender in the cinema distribution industry. Stream is the market leader of PC game distribution. Other industries, such as the performing art industries, have seen a few movements in their value chains due to the importance of live experience. The 2017 European Commission analysis of creative industries offers a compelling framework of analysis about how digitization has changed creative industries and their value chain and we will leverage the analysis offered to include blockchain technology. Value Chain of Creative Industries The 2017 European Commission paper we cited offers the following framework. Inspired by the culture cycle analysis of the 2009 USGO study for value chain analysis. The core functions are usual, as in any line of business, but creative industries are more specific in the sense that support functions and ancillary products and goods that are fundamental for the industry to be sustainable. Authentication is key in evaluating a piece of art. On the present framework, it would fit into a management regulation. As the paper mentions, however, the concept of economic value, the creation, is not always as straightforward in creative value chains as it is in many industry value chains. This is the case, for example, in the subsector of cultural heritage. Creative cultural value chains, therefore, can have a different shape and behavior than that of a production-based industry like cars or electronics. For visual arts, the paper offers the following value chain. We find this mapping compelling for it encompasses key aspects and characteristics of creative industries and, as such, we will use it as a base to assert in which element of the value chain can blockchain bring about significant disruption. The conclusions of the study are the following. Digitization increased powers of online distributors, essentially cutting their share out of a brick-and-mortar retailers with an increased bargaining power. This is especially true for streaming services and platforms in music, film, and video, where they are now challenging production companies with their own original content like Netflix. Their increased bargaining power also stems from their being the first layer of interaction with clients. Marshalling high-quality consumer data for specific targeting to which other actors in the value do not have access to. Barriers to entry have been lowered for creators thanks to cheaper digital tools. These tools allow them to essentially internalize processes that were before devolved of, to producers such as video editing and photography. Nevertheless, creators have growing concerns about their bargaining power. As the study concludes, individual creators' bargaining position vis-a-vis -vis online intermediaries is at least as weak. 
thus making it very difficult for most creators to negotiate a sustainable rumination loan. Producers' publishers have earned the lion's share of most creative industries with increased bargaining power thanks to bigger markets opened up by online distribution and more competition between creators. They essentially deal with distributors on behalf of the creator. The study concludes that two gatekeepers have been strengthened on the value change thanks to digitization, publishers, producer, and distributors, each one trying to go up or down the value chain to earn more bargaining power, publishers, producer, with dedicated distribution channels, such as Disney, starting out their streaming service, and distributors producing their own exclusive content, with Netflix being the best example. Digitization may have not entirely reshaped value chains, since some of them, such as cultural heritage and performing arts, were the digitization rate. The ratio of revenue from digital sources over total revenue is the lowest due to the importance of physical display and live experience. Digitization has nevertheless made value chain in creative industries them more complex, granting even more power to the gatekeepers as they provide rights management and distribution framework to all the actors, like an industry-wide central hub.